Hi, right, sweeties. How are you, Jean? Welcome to Naya Sim. And thank you all so much for all the love and support. Hope you all are doing great. So yesterday, it was a very tough time for a lot of people trying to understand what really happened during the campaign, uh, Donald Trump's campaign, that there was a pew pew, and the next thing, he went down and came up, and there was um, something on his ear, right? A lot of people have been trying to analyze, to find out what really happened, how did it happen, and all that. Some people are already blaming the lib uh, liberals. Some people are already... Uh, blaming uh, Nazi policies. Some people are blaming uh, the uh, the, the, Demo the Republican. I mean, all these are just uncalled for, right? Like they say, the investigation is ongoing. Why are people like, you know, insinuating? But you all already know that this is in kind of a very sensitive issue, right? You all already know how the fight has been going on, the political fight, like, you know, that has been going on. And now this is more like a great reason, like, you know, to give somebody power over everything, like to, like, you know, power to, to take charge, right? And you all can actually see how most of them are coming online saying that, a man, we are in support of you. We are going to, like, you know, it's going to be the next prey and the rest of it. And the truth is that some people are easily deceived, right? But who am I to say it is what it is? I am not going to make my decision or you are not going to make your decision and also tell other people to make their decision, especially when it comes to voting. So this is what it is already, but you all already know what's going to happen. Let's get into this. Everybody knows Donald Trump was shot. I'm not going to go into conspiracy theories about this, if it was real or fake. I think there's quite enough. This is not a regular man who was shot. Even if it was Joe Biden who was shot, the current president of the United States, the reaction will be nothing compared to what's going to come from this. This man represents white nationalists. The president who Republicans and especially Trumpies love the most was Ronald Reagan. I'm not going to get into conspiracy theories, even though it's really hard because the gunman was only a couple of hundred feet away. But what I will say is that it doesn't matter if it was a fake attempt or a real attempt. It doesn't matter. This is bad. And this picture is really bad too. With blood dripping off the side of his face after an assassination attempt where he was shot, the president who has the most dangerous followers those same people who view this man as their racist hero and they say and i don't believe them that they believe that he came from god to save the country their hero lifted up his fist and mouthed the word fight 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 this man just said white power this real or fake assassination attempt has confirmed in his fascist followers minds what they always wanted to believe that this man is a hero that this man is doing such great things that the bad people who they view as the bad people are trying to get rid of him they just turned this man into ronald reagan the hero of the republican party some of the Trumpies were leaving this mindset of worship for him and going back to regular Republicanism. But after this, this next presidential election is going to be even crazier than the first time he ran for president. To them, him just getting shot and him standing up, blood on his face, hand pumping in the air saying, fight, fight, fight. To them, it made him look like a badass. If you don't know, Ronald Reagan, back in the 80s, did have an assassination attempt on his life. Years later, he was making a speech and a balloon popped. But to everybody, it sounded like a gunshot. And Ronald Reagan stood at that podium and didn't move. All he said was, you missed me. Now, for the people who love Barack Obama, Imagine he stood up there and did the same thing. Badass, right? Well, that is now how Republicans feel. One of the only differences between Republicans and Democrat voters in this country is that if this had happened to Joe Biden, 
Democrats wouldn't get in the streets. There'd be virtually no response to it. But his supporters, the fascists, if there's one thing that fascists love the most, is violence. Welcome back to the 1800s, Black people. You have got to be kidding me. Let me say something right now. Take this to the bank, okay? That person was allowed to scale that roof, okay? I am not some individual who's trying to assess the situation and have never been around the president of the United States. While Trump was in office, okay, I have, was around him a lot, a lot. And let me tell you something. The Secret Service, there is no person that can get around the perimeter of the Secret Service where... where no, Candace. No. You and your stunted, growing, hot, comb, greasy, pressed hair are not welcome back into our community. Stop it. Y'all have to be gay. Her and Shapiro and the rest of them people, while she was on their side, already started not liking Candace. Then the Palestine and Israel situation happened. And then Candace, knowing that Shapiro is a Jew, went and stood up for Palestine on her show. And that is the excuse that Candace used to creep her way back over to the black community. She was already getting kicked out by them white folk. She needed a new audience to keep that money going. What better way than to get kicked out for supporting Palestine? Now, all of a sudden, hating Trump to get the sympathy of black people because now she's the victim. She's not just getting sympathy and acceptance from black people. She's getting it from all sides that are opposed to Trump and all that alt-right stuff. Candace is a flip-flopper. She started off being bullied by YT children when she was younger, calling her names and all that, harassing her phone, calling her name and shit and harassing her via phone. She then did a lawsuit with her parents through the NAACP and won. She later made a website that bashed Republicans, bashed Trump. But on that website, you were able to look up people. And the Democrats, once on her side, said that that was too far and it was wrong and started bashing Candace. Then the Republicans came and brought her in to them. Then she was pro-Trump, pro-Republican, pro-all of it. Then she gets her own show doing the same thing but her and Ben Shapiro had some issues behind the scene. So the Palestine-Israel thing happened. Now she's attempting to flip back but not too far. She doesn't go so far as to say things are racist. She doesn't want to lose that percentage of white people who still support her because they've decided that Trump is bad too. But it's just enough for black people to all of a sudden want to welcome her back into the community. She still says a whole bunch of shit she used to say, but she tweaks it just enough. And now she appears as the prodigal son who's returned back home. Y'all are being played. Y'all are being played. Y'all are being played. I'm not a Democrat or Republican or any of that stuff, but she's like the in-between right there republican and democrat more republican obviously but she's got her feet in both doors right now she is like an op in our community now and i've seen the videos that y'all are making y'all are starting to lean towards candace's side and now she has the racist republicans who are now anti-trump but she got y'all niggas too y'all are filling her pockets y'all better peep game too so here's the thing, Donald Trump has told so many lies, you don't know what to believe. Everything that comes out of his mouth is a lie. The Associated Press is framing this as an assassination attempt, that this was an attempt of his on his life that took place in Pennsylvania today at his rally. And Donald Trump, there are pictures of him um, emerging bloody. Now he says that a bullet grazed his ear um, and that he was like this close from losing his life, I guess, and being, you know, pew-pewed in the head. 
Me personally, I don't believe him because like I said, everything that comes out of his mouth is a lie. I'm more inclined to believe that when shots rang out, the see he panicked. The Secret Service tried to get him down, follow protocol, and because he is an old man like Joe Biden, um, he probably hit something or fell against something. You know, he's probably taking blood thinners and blood probably spilled. I doubt highly that this man was nicked or hit, but like I said, it's hard to believe anything that comes out of his mouth because everything that comes out of his mouth is a lot and you can't blame those of us who are doubting this. And obviously the right side of the aisle is blaming Joe Biden for this. I don't know why, how when he was at the White House doing his job, but I don't know. I can't recall Joe Biden saying anything that would um, make someone go out and do what it is the Republicans are claiming happened to uh, Donald Trump today. However, I can think of lots of things that Donald Trump has said that would make someone feel, um, that would motivate someone to commit these kinds of crimes against others on the other side of the aisle. It's no wonder that Hillary hasn't been attacked in the same way by now. And we know what happened to Nancy Pelosi's husband, even though they were looking for Nancy. This is why you can't wish harm on other people because karma got a way of staying lurking. And this is assuming that this isn't some stunt that the white side is pulling right now. In some desperate bid to secure the White House for this man, this con artist, this convict, this child predator this assaulter of women, this insurrectionist. What we do know is that two people um, are no longer with us as a result of what happened today. And that there is another person who is seriously injured. And I honestly think that we are going to have to be okay with never knowing what really happened because you can never believe anything that the Republicans say. Okay, it's cooked. As of like an hour ago, what appeared to be gunshots rang out at a Trump rally. He went down, he got back up, his ear and his face appeared to be bloody and he's doing a fist pump in the air. It looks like somebody missed they shot and maybe grazed them and uh, let me tell you what's gonna happen over the next couple days. The reason why I say it's cooked is because the sycophantic fan base that is known for playing the victim when it comes to everything just watch their guy almost get kablooied and then come back up with a black power fist, which is now going to further feed their victim complex. Mind you, when it comes to policy, socioeconomic status, his race, well, every fucking thing about him, he is not a victim and nor is the majority of his fans. But shit, now they are. I guess, because you know the right-wing spin factory is a fucking machine. Trump is going to mention this event in every single fucking appearance moving forward. The right is going to make t-shirts and mugs and merchandise out of it. He apparently mouthed the word fight, so expect to see that picture with some filters on it with the fight thing or some TikTok edits. Expect for the right to get even more radical because of this event. And as more information comes out about whatever happened if this was a shooting and that shooter has any left-wing beliefs at any point, I'm talking if they liked AOC's tweet at one point in their life, life it's fucked because anything that you say against trump will now be painted as oh they're too radical and look this rhetoric caused yeah this despite the fact that shootings for literally every reason over the past however many years have been by right-wing people who follow all these right-wing demagogues that are about to be like the left is what caused this and everything and use this as their opportunity expect to see people pulling comments online of people previously talking about how trump should get you know we're going to have to sit back and watch how everyone responds to this and see if everything i just said plays out which i know it fucking will but until then something in my stomach is telling me we're cooked we're so fucking cooked hey democrats and all of you trump haters you happy now this is what you wanted right this is what you were hoping and wishing for you even had celebrities calling for trump's death Okay, so this is what you wanted. So I think it just got real. But I had a vision of Trump being assassinated some years ago. And I believe it's posted on TikTok and on YouTube somewhere. And I'm going to try to find that video and repost it. Okay, but 
I mean, it was inevitable. I mean, we knew it was coming. It was coming sometime soon, man, because the Democrats, the devil is angry, man. The devil is angry because they know that they have a short time. The Democrats are losing. The media is, is even talking about Trump's presidency, right? So they hate Trump so much for no reason. Well, the Democrats got a reason to hate him. Those that's in power because they don't want to lose power. But this is what the Democrats was hoping for. Now you got what you wanted. Now it's alleged that one of the Secret Service has lost his life. He was gunned down with this assassination attempt. And the alleged shooter was allegedly taken down according to the Wall Street Journal, okay? But this is what you wanted. This is what the Democrats wanted. Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, uh, Maxine Waters. You were calling for this man's death. And they should be held accountable for that. Here's the thing I got to understand. It honestly doesn't matter if it was staged or not. Because all that matters is how it appears. And how it appears is that someone tried to pew pew at him directly and only grazed him. That's all that matters for real. I'm already seeing conspiracy theories of how he and his team paid someone to do it or it was an inside job. Y'all, the reality is it doesn't matter. All that matters is that this situation makes him come across as a victim of pew pew violence. And we have seen time and time again that his supporters, Dema don't give a Dema damn about any kind of facts. All they really care about is how Mr. Rump makes them feel. And when he returns to his campaign trail and goes to his next rally and positions himself as a victim of pew pew violence, but he prevailed anyway, it's going to ignite a certain level of pride in his supporters that I don't think we've fully seen yet, to be honest with you. So whether it was staged or not, we need to buckle up because this campaign trail and presidential election has just gotten that much more interesting. Somebody just tried to Trump. Clearly it was a liberal that attempted it because they missed, but nonetheless, he got down and then got back up once it was all clear, put his fist up and was escorted away with a bloody ear. I'm already seeing people on the left react disgustingly saying they wish that that person would have had better aim, which makes me lose respect for humanity. And then I'm seeing people on the right start to demonize all liberals as if they're somehow responsible for this. Like their neighbor who disagrees with them on tax policy is responsible for this. Can you imagine if this would have turned out differently? Do you think our country would, would survive it? I, I don't know. And based off of some of the responses, it's genuinely shocking. <laughs> the disconnect between people. And I don't know if it's social media or just political propaganda or both. But I think we need to do a mental health check on America because seriously, people are mentally disturbed. If you get to the point where you hate a public figure so much that you wish onto them, you need help, legitimate help. It's disgusting. But in that same breath, the person responsible for this is the person who did it, not your neighbor. Well, this was definitely staged. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I'm, I'm sick of the games these people have to play in order to win something. This is just a game to them. You know what I'm saying? The rest of us, we just out here living with the consequences of the things they want. When I think about the accomplishments and goals someone has to have to attempt uh, assassination and the climate that we're all in here in America it just makes me scratch my head. It also makes me want to pack my bags because why all these games? They don't want Biden to win the presidency, die, and have Kamala Harris running things. So, I mean, these people are going to play dirty. Let's be for real. The photo op was candid. And Twitter is blowing up because don't nobody believe him. And I really think somebody who was going to do the job would have did the job. You know what I'm saying? You already got these cult members talking about this is the liberals fault. So they don't even know if it's them or not. They don't know what to believe. But me, I'm not finna trust nothing this man do or say. And when I seen the headline, I was like, anyway, because I already knew it was some bullshit. So this is all I got from the stitches and all of that. And sincerely speaking, it's really amazing how this is happening right now. And you all already know how 
like everybody is already not having what has been going on especially when it comes to all it is that has been going on you know you know how the campaign has been ongoing and it's more like a rival right and uh trump and uh biden joe biden and the rest of it man this is really a very i don't know how to stop but this is really a very uh critical situation right but you all already know what is going on power right power and i really do not know what to say because i don't believe anything and i am also trying to be very careful because this is a very sensitive issue in order not to get myself especially my channel into trouble right but all i can say is that you all already know what it's playing out and for the people that are looking for a way to uh blame the republican who is telling you that it is the Republican that did this to uh, the, the Democrat? I mean, some people are really not smart enough and intelligent enough to start already coming out to call somebody's name and all that. I mean, that is not, it's a goal for, right? Something has happened. Investigation is already ongoing. Life is already lost and wish everybody's all up and doing and trying to find out what already happened and all that to know where to like you know how to like you know talk about it and all that some people are already saying the left wing the right wing the center wings and all that but what i'm going to tell you all for some people it is going to be a savior like the savior is all out now for you all and you all do not have any other choice or any other option than to vote for him because he's been oppressed he i mean a lot of bad things has happened to him why because he been, he's been fighting so hard for your own life he's been fighting so hard to make sure that uh you are okay that you are safe i mean you already know how they think but like i keep saying i am not standing in for anybody but this is like more like the plan that they got already and um man i wish i really can say what is on my mind but i cannot say it because i am not the owner of this platform you all already understand what I am saying. Yeah, so um, thank you so much for the support. See you all in my next video. Bye for now.